Good morning, everybody. So um, in Pastor Zane's absence, I just want to say thank you very much for this privilege, as well as um, the New Life staff involved in this great opportunity for us. So um, this morning, I want to explore the profound teachings of the Gospel of Matthew, a book that reveals the truth that can anchor our lives in faith and our relationship with God. In Matthew 7, 24 to 27, Jesus speaks of two builders, one who builds his house on solid rock and another who builds his house on sand. And this scripture sets the stage for the exploration of the book of Matthew and the truth it unveils. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Anyone who listens to my teachings and follow it is wise, like a person who builds his house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in turrets and the floods rise and the winds beat against the house, it will not collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and does not obey is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rain comes and the floods rise the w and the wind beats against the house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. So my first point is about the foundation of faith. In the book of Matthew, we learn Jesus is the core of our faith. He fulfills ancient predictions as the long-awaited Messiah. In Matthew 16, verse 16, Peter acknowledges, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. This shows us the importance to see Jesus as the basis of our lives. My second point, the kingdom of God. Throughout Matthew, Jesus frequently talks about the kingdom of God. In Matthew 4, verse 17, he says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. You must understand that God's kingdom is way different from this, from this world. We should put it first. It's a place of love, fairness, and forgiveness. My third point is about the cost of following Jesus. Matthew also tells us about being a disciple of Jesus is tough. When I was preparing for the sermon, I read from Matthew 10, 38 to 39, and the New Living Translation says, If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you are not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. And I thought this was a really nice verse. You know, it tells us how to follow Jesus and you should give your heart to him. But me being me, I got curious and went to the message translation. Here it says, if you do not go all the way with me through thick and thin, you do not deserve me. If your first concern is to look after yourself, you will not find yourself. But if you forget about yourself and you look to me, you will find both yourself and me. Now, after reading this, I was like, yo, why are both these, the versions of this verse standing out to me? What, what is trying to be said here? And so I went to the YouTube channel, um, The Bible Project, great people there. They give visual explanations about books in the Bible. They also have many series. And I watched a video about the book of Matthew, but, and slowly but surely, I started to understand. I went and looked at a small explanation slash Bible study about the two different versions. And in, I learned that in both translations of Matthew 10, 38 to 39, the message of discipleship is very clear. It emphasizes that the wholehearted commitment and selflessness required to follow Jesus. So in the message translation, verse 38, it reminds us that discipleship means going all the way with Jesus, regardless of challenges or hardships we face. It suggests that discipleship is not only about self-centeredness, but also looking to Jesus. In verse 39, it emphasizes that by selflessly following him, we not only find Jesus, but also discover our true selves, highlighting the transformative power of discipleship. In the New Living Translation, the, in verse 38, it reinforces the idea that discipleship involves taking up one's cross and fully following Jesus, signifying the willingness that disciples... Uh, signifying the willingness to endure hardships and challenges for the sake of faith. In verse 39, it makes a touching point about the cost of clinging to one's life, own life, versus surrendering it for the sake of Jesus. Discipleship calls for self-sacrifice, and in doing so, we find our lives built in Christ. 
Um, so in Matthew 10, 38 to 39, discipleship calls for wholehearted commitment, selflessness, and willingness to endure hardships for Jesus. The verse emphasizes self-sacrifice, transformation, and finding true life in Christ. So we are left with the choice to make. Will we build our lives on the, in the faith of Christ, which is solid, or in the worldly, worldly pursuits that are uncertain? Are we ready to make Jesus um, our leader and prioritize his kingdom? Are we ready to face the challenges of being a disciple? As we leave it today, let's keep Matthew's teachings in our hearts. Let's aim to build our lives on the solid foundation of Christ and accept the challenges of discipleship. The journey of following Jesus is not easy, but, the, but Matthew's truth calls us to follow him. So let's follow all our hearts, soul, and mind.